Either there's going to be a revolution, Patrick Henry style here in America, where, where, where uh, red-blooded, God-fearing, uh, Jesus-loving Americans are going to stand up and say, we're not going to take it no more. We're just not going to take it. And uh, there's going to be riots in the streets, worse than the riots in South Central Los Angeles after they acquitted uh, the, uh, the, the cops that beat up Rodney King. Uh, you think that, you, and that was black people riding. You haven't seen anything. And I'm not advocating killing and murder and stealing and robbing. That's not what I'm advocating. I'm just telling you what people are going to do. People are sick of this. People are tired of the long-legged Mac Daddy, you know, kicking them in the face every time he gets up lying to them. Then you got a bunch of, I don't know, suck-ups like the MSNBC News, ABC News, and all these media types, and everybody who's looking to be popular and get invited to the White House, sucking up to them all the time. It's sickening. I mean, it's downright sickening to watch this. Uh, you know, you're going to get these white folk all rolled, riled up here. I'm going to tell you something. They're going to come in, the, the white folk get riled up, you know, they're going to, they're going to, members of the NRA going to come into the black neighborhoods. I'm telling you, you know, the people are going to get, people just tired of this. You, the, the, you know, white people are being pushed around, kicked to the curb, having their rights denied, being called a racist, being walked on, watching their tax dollars go to fund all kind of drug sales, prostitution, illegal immigration. I mean, I mean y'all going to push these white folk till they can't take it no more. I'm telling you. You fool around here with Obama? You going to let this long-legged Mac Daddy push these white folk? They going to come up out of Tennessee and come up out of Oklahoma, come up out of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, come up out of Oregon and come out of Idaho and California. I'm telling y'all, you're pushing these white folk and you're pushing them your long-legged Mac Dad is pushing them and pushing them and pushing them. And they're, they're going to get, they're, listen, you're going to push people to the point where they're not going to take it no more. These white folk are not going to take it. You're taking their tax money. You're closing down their jobs. You're shutting down their banks. You're telling them what they can and cannot do. You're giving billions of dollars to Acorn. You're taking their tax money and giving it to people to buy drugs. You're killing babies and you won't stop. You're telling lies and you're demoralizing our nation, you're destroying everything that has made this nation great. White folk getting ready to rise up. They don't want to take it no more, and I'm joining them. Oh, doggone it. I am. I mean, I, and it's just an insult. It's one thing to have a president that you're okay, all right, he's Republican, you're a Democrat, you're a Democrat, he's Republican, you disagree on policy. But this man is destroying what God loves. He's destroying... He's destroying the fabric and the fiber of the nation. And he's no, he is a prolific, if you will, liar and killer and murderer. Spiritually. Politically. I'm telling you, you're going to see an uprising in this nation. And it won't be long now. I mean, you just can't keep pushing folk the way Obama's pushing white folk and the way black folk are pushing white folk. You can't keep doing that. I'm telling y'all, you better find a way to either get rid of Obama or you, these, these folk are going to rise up at the sound of a bird. They're going to rise up. When the sound of the grinding is low, they're going to rise up when, long, when mortars go to their long home. Wherever the silver cord be loosened or the gold be, golden bowl be broken, or the picture be broken at the fountain. I'm telling you, these people, white folk, they, they have had it. They've had it. And they can't take it no more. And who can blame them? I mean, who can blame them to build this nation and then have it given away, just given away, just thrown away? Just given away by a long-legged half-breed, usurper, illegal alien, a man who isn't even a citizen, and everybody in the Congress knows that he's not a citizen. Dick Cheney knows he's not a citizen. And yet nobody will stand up. I'm telling you, white folk are ready to riot. And they should be. They should be. This don't make no doggone sense. 
I'm telling y'all. Now either y'all go talk to the long-legged Mac daddy, tell him there is none. Tell him. And then all these people, John McCain, Hillary Clinton, Mike Huckabee, Dick Cheney, George Bush, all need to stand on a platform and then bring the nine Supreme Court justices and they ought to apologize to God-fearing, uh, God-loving, uh, patriotic Americans ought to have an individual apology from every one of these persons I just named that have allowed this long-legged night daddy, this two-tongued liar, this quasi-Muslim, socialist, communist, Marxist freak called Barack Hussein Obama will allow him to get to where he's at. And then we go and need to go into 40 days of prayer. We need to outpray the Muslims on Ramadan. We need to go into 40 days of prayer, but we need to get that long-legged Mac daddy, that half-breed, that Muslim, that illegal alien, that emissary of the devil, that vice president of genocide and hell. We need to get him out of the White House. I'm telling you. Go ahead. Keep on. Keep on sucking up to him like they did out there in Notre Dame. Keep on sucking up. Keep on. Watch it. Just keep on. Just keep on. There's going to be a peace embargo by white folk. They're not going to take it no more. And I don't blame them. They're not going to take this foolishness any longer. Just keep on. Just keep on. You go ahead. Yeah, go ahead with your bad self. Go ahead. It's your long-legged Mac daddy worshiping self. Go ahead. Go ahead. You freak, you homosexual, you man lover. Um, Chris Matthews, keep over, Overman, go ahead. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. 4,000 babies were killed yesterday while the long-legged Mac daddy was talking, was speaking at Notre Dame. And everybody's talking about we need a dialogue in America. A dialogue, my foot. White folk ain't gonna take it no more. And thank God, y'all think it was something black folk rioting. <laughs> y'all thought that was something then. You know, got the Black Panthers and all those militant groups. They're white groups forming right now. They're not gonna take it no more. And I don't blame them. I'm praying for their success. I hope they let me join them. I do. No, I do. This mess going on in our nation don't make no sense whatsoever. Everybody knows the demands of usurper. Everybody knows the demands of illegal alien. Everybody knows it. Everybody, Dick Cheney knows it. George Bush knows it. Barbara Bush knows it. Laura knows it too. Everybody knows it. The man is not a citizen of America. Where's Larry Sinclair when we need him? Plus, he's the vowed homosexual, fell in love with Larry Sinclair. They had a steamy love affair. Obama and Larry Sinclair had a steamy love affair. Obama and Larry Sinclair had a steamy love affair. Larry looked into the eyes of Obama, the Mac Daddy, and they put a spell on Obama, the Mac Daddy. Obama said to Larry, oh, you're just my style and my kind. Oh, you look like just what I want, my man, woman, and half whatever look to look like. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Obama and Larry Sinclair had a steamy love affair in the back of a limo, and then at uh, the uh, Holiday Inn, they had a steaming love affair. All right, my friends, all right, okay. We're going to continue talking about the advent of the revolution that's coming to this nation. And it's coming to an Obama worshiper um, next door to you.